Hey guys, DL here with Women Throwing Leather, and this is the Three Minute Breakdown. December 17th, we will see the return of the former Invicta FC Atomweight champion, the karate hottie, Michelle Watterson. She'll be co-headlining the card with Paige Van Zant in Sacramento. Now, also on that card is Leslie the Peacemaker Smith. She'll be welcoming Irina Aldana, making her UFC debut to the bantamweight division. Now every time we see Paige fight, she looks more dangerous and improved than the last time we saw her. She has a ton of fight in her and a relentless drive to bring everything she has to that fight. Now she may look like a model, but make no mistake, Paige Van Zant is legit and she can whoop some serious ass. Now in most of her fights, she's able to fight at a pace that the majority of her opponents can't sustain, and that gives her a huge advantage. In her last fight with Beck Rawlings, we saw a more technical and calculated Paige Van Zant, who took on more of a stick and move type fighting style, versus her past fighting style, where she kind of swarmed and mauled her opponents, like we saw in the Alex Chambers and Felice Herrig fights. Michelle Watterson is a black belt in freestyle karate and a blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. With Michelle Watterson, you're looking at someone who is very explosive and very fast in their striking. Watterson has some of the most powerful and explosive leg kicks in the division. And she not only uses them to inflict damage, but also keep her opponents at bay and make them think twice about closing the distance on her. She is a very aggressive fighter and has no problem in bringing the fight to you. Now this is actually a really good matchup. They're both fairly evenly matched. They both have great wrestling, grappling, and submission skills. Now what Paige Van Zandt brings to this fight is nearly unlimited cardio and stamina. She has a mental toughness and just a raw, scrappy determination. Now what Watterson brings to this fight, a mean aggressiveness in her offense. She pushes the fight and delivers explosive, fast, and powerful leg kicks on a level that I don't think Paige Van Zandt has faced yet. She also has excellent jujitsu and is able to pull sneaky submissions seemingly out of nowhere. This fight for Venzant is an opportunity to showcase her top level skills and why she's the number eight ranked fighter in the UFC. Now for Watterson, it's an opportunity to take out that number eight ranked fighter, which moves her up in the rankings. But more importantly, since she's been out for over a year, it sends a message and reminds the rest of the division the legitimate threat that she brings to them. All right, guys, those are my thoughts on this matchup. Now let me know yours in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Once again, I am D. Allen. Thanks for watching Women Throwing Leather. And as always, you guys are awesome.